Well, basically, uh, when I was 16, I was diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia. Um, I also had obsessive compulsive disorder and a number of other illnesses. And at that point, I didn't feel like my life was worth anything, you know, so I was given this opportunity in Ireland because I moved over here. And I was skeptical at first because I didn't really know what to expect. But I thought, okay, I'll give it a go, I'll give it a shot. I just seem to come down here and forget about everything and just concentrate on what's on the farm and what's to be done. And it just gives you such a sense of achievement and, and freedom. The attraction for the social farming was I always thought it would be nice for them to work with animals because I know how therapeutic it is to work with animals. So I thought this would be, we, we could always try this, not realising it was just going to take off by storm really. When they landed with me first, I was very apprehensive, so the lads were very unsteady on their feet. They weren't, they couldn't, you couldn't take your eyes off them, they'd just they'd fall over. And now they're up and down over rocks and way up or down after cattle there one day and they were away, no to bother them. The first time I was nervous, scared, I didn't know what to say or anything like that, but I kept quiet most of the time. When I got used to talking to Shane and Joanne, they, they, they made us want, want more work, welcome for the family then. The interaction with the farmer and the, the participant is very, very important. Uh, it relaxes the participant, it makes them more comfortable, it makes them nearly in a, a family circle. We, we build up a great relationship with them and I feel very it, it goes beyond friendship as well, it's also a family. And the fact that Larry and his wife Winifred and Patrick, they kind of let me into their home and they gave me the opportunity and I really, uh, they respect me as well as a person which is great because a lot of people kind of turn their heads when they find out about my illness. She, she treats you, especially with me, I'm made deaf, and deaf. He treats us like a, like a normal person. She treats us like a, uh, yeah, like humans. We started actually in, our kids were quite young and when we started the pilot it was in the summer holidays. So it was great because it was big, the kids oh, were all nervous, new people coming to the farm and they're all worried about sort of what, what to do but the kids adopted and we found it very, very good grounding for our children and it, it, they probably, children make relationships very easily so they helped us to sort of break the the ice, Everybody. for want of a better mm. word, with 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 the participants who came to the farm. Really, I found it really, really part of the social, the whole social farm thing is really is. But for me, it's that family inclusion that that that's very important. Well, he's been with the project every Friday, and he likes it, and uh, he seems to to meet a lot of different people. You know, it's a, a different era for him. It is. It's different to him. Well, I, I enjoy what I'm doing because I'm an outdoors person more than an indoors person. I like to be where all the action is and helping people out. The, the environment that this is carried out in has to be a lot more preferable to somebody sitting in a room in a clinic somewhere analysing their problems and talking forever about them. This is more the practical side of it. This is showing them that they can do these things. I'd rather say doing you know, social farm and then I actually go back into the centre again. There's a lot of people in centres around the country who would love to get this opportunity and actually work with it. But they're not at the moment. Since I joined the social farm, I learned so much. I never knew I just do that, but learned so much since I've come out here and I know there's so much more to learn on the farm. At the time, you know, you don't know, you start to wonder, is it, you know, will he be alright, will he be safe? But it was unbelievable, everything went off so well for him. He, he really enjoyed it and he, he got so much out of it. And when they're happy in themselves, it's, 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 it's a bonus. Their confidence, even how they would speak to you, they would initiate a conversation straight away, you know, rather than wait. It'd be things like that that I would know, saying I've known some of the people there for a long, long, long time. It wouldn't be the norm. 
the pride that they're taking and the work that they do and the great sense of achievement and their value base within that and you can tell whenever you come out to visit or you're bringing others out to visit that they are so proud of what they've achieved. He comes home from the farm and he's actually, I, we thought he'd come home exhausted and, and, and worn out. He's actually animated, he's alive, he's, you can see the difference in him completely. And There's other things in my life that has really changed past the farming, like going to the cinema, I wasn't able to do that. And the other week I went and I, I sat through the whole film. So it's, it's little things like that that help. It's not only the big things, big changes in my life, but it's also the, the little changes as well. I find it very hard to make friends I do with, with, with stuff I've gone on in my past. Well, I've made a lot of new friends and got to know a lot of new things that I've never done before, like. Uh, you meet different people coming here, going down there that once. Uh, you sit and chat, talk around a little bit, uh, get tips. And I think that this has been a very positive thing in terms of the support that they're getting locally, not only here, but in, in general in the community. And I have firm belief that it will work because I would have been maybe sceptical coming into this. And just to see how it has, has worked with the lads, uh, it's unbelievable what it has done for them, how it has changed around their lives. I feel great, absolutely 100%. As I say, I have a purpose to get up in the morning time and I, I, I hate to see the end of the day coming around. I'd like to work here longer. They, they have so much to offer that it's just a matter of giving them the opportunity to be able to show what they're capable of.